Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build at 22635.3495 for version 23H2. This is a pretty interesting Insider preview build for the beta channel. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. I think the highlight from this build, basically the biggest change, is that Microsoft is starting to add ads in the recommended section of the start menu. Well, they are not necessarily the same as that you would imagine, but Microsoft will start to recommend apps and basically allow you to discover other apps from the Microsoft Store under the recommended section of the start menu. So I'm just gonna go into start settings and then I'm gonna go to default and let's see if we have something like that. We don't have anything like that right now. Let's also go again and enable more recommendations and here with time you may notice certain recommended apps from the Microsoft Store. Fortunately this can be turned off so if you see a promotion of an app in the start menu you can turn that off just right click on the start menu start settings you're gonna have here this option show recommendations for tips shortcuts new apps and more and if you have this enabled once in a while you're gonna notice here apps that are recommended by Microsoft from the Microsoft Store at least they are from the Microsoft Store but as I saw from Twitter users are not happy with this and me neither because I think the start menu should stay the way it was more simplistic and intuitive for the user. Hopefully Microsoft will see that users are not really happy with this change and they will try to change it for the better so I think that should be the case. Microsoft also reminds us that certain new experiences or new changes may never roll out to Windows in the main release so don't get too scared about this because if Microsoft sees the feedback is bad they won't ever release a change like this. Microsoft is also trying out some changes to Windows spotlight so I'm just gonna go into personalize and then I'm gonna enable Windows spotlight you're gonna be able to notice some new experiences and new treatments for the way that the UI will look and you can minimize it maximize it and more of course there are different variants and you can have different treatments or experiences as I've said with Windows spotlight also Microsoft is introducing a new settings section under settings and then accounts and here you're gonna notice under account settings a new section link devices find repair and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account and here you can register new devices and you can see the list of all the devices that are linked to your Microsoft account. Of course, I'm going to have here a lot of devices because I have a lot of virtual machines connected with this Microsoft account. I think this is a great new addition by Microsoft. And this will include information that you can see here, find my device, warranty repair, and more, serial number, OS edition, version, OS type, system type, processor, RAM, and more. Related to Windows Copilot, Microsoft is also beginning to roll out the ability to switch between the existing docked behavior for the Copilot app or a new new mode where it acts like a normal application window which you can resize and move around your screen. Microsoft is also applying some improvements to Copilot and this is slowly rolling out to the dev and the beta channels of the Windows Insider program. There are also a few known issues in this build, some related to widgets, some related to Copilot and some other ones mentioned by Microsoft but you can check those out in the official Microsoft blog post that you're going to find in the article below in the video's description. So basically this is all there is to it to the latest beta channel build of the Windows Insider program. I think this is a pretty interesting one and let me know below in the comments what your opinion on this build, especially on the new start menu changes that Microsoft is trying out. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Ibani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.